Hello everybody and uh, welcome to a Thailand tip. Today I'm going to uh, discuss a question that's come in from a subscriber. Uh, it's going to remain anonymous and I'm going to try and uh, answer some questions which have come from him um, and uh, they might be relevant to everybody so obviously that's why I'm making this video. <laughs> I have discussed several things about my life, uh, my plans and what I'm intending to do very soon, well within the next year or so, with regard to Thailand. So I thought it'd be quite useful to actually go through the question. Now this is um, this is it, this is the, the long email that I had from him. Obviously I'm going to say it's a him, there's only two choices really. Him and her. So to um, briefly outline, so you haven't got to read it all. Basically, he is going to be uh, probably redundant in, unless he uh, moves to South Wales. Now, obviously, South Wales is uh, uh, quite away from where he currently lives. Uh, so he is a qualified engineer. There are options. There's one that he's been offered um, to move to to South Wales with the company and if he did that he would obviously have to sell up and move and obviously then um, buy a new house blah 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 he is married to a Thai lady so they've been living here for eight years uh, so there is that option and obviously one of those options is to go to Thailand to live or he can live look for a new job in the UK and stay here uh, but because of his job it's a very specialist uh, job it's an engineering and he does have a degree so that's pretty good uh, so this is why he's asking me this question because I have discussed about uh, doing teaching English in Thailand or online or rather they're currently in the process of opening up a small resort in Ubon uh, now obviously that's going to take a little while to have uh, an income but they're hopeful on that his wife has a uni degree uh, from Thailand, uh, a master's degree from the UK, so she's obviously qualified. She's uh, fairly qualified that she would be able to get a tutored position at one of the local unis. In Thailand, the situation is that you need a work permit and uh, you are only allowed to do a certain number of jobs on a list. So if it's on the list, you can't do it. Now, my feeling is that also if you have a skill, skill that the Thai people do not have you may be okay with that even if it appears on the list of jobs that you can't do if they need the skills that you have then they will look the other way as it were uh, I'm not saying that that's true I'm just saying it's a possibility as we all know with Thailand things you know if they want it to happen it will happen uh, regardless of what the laws are and what the rules are uh, so but you can't guarantee that now it may be that your skills are re required so you might be lucky and get a job in Thailand working exactly as you are now so that's an option now the other thing that he mentioned there was that he wants to look into teaching English um, so doing a TEFL now I have said that I've done TEFL I've done I did it with eye to eye uh, this was recommended by Go Go Hopping who's Paul who, who did it many years ago, uh, and he recommended them. Mm, um, yep, yeah, I mean, having done it, I'm, I'm sort of okay about it, but I wasn't 100% sure that, that that company was right for me. Um, and there are many, many companies out there that offer the TEFL as an exam. Um, 120 hours is what you're looking at. I also did a 30 hour online course which was for teaching online and I also did the 20 hour face to face classroom teaching course. So in all 
it was um, 170 hours worth of, of work that I did and three uh, certificates. So that's all pretty good. And now, I, obviously, at the end of it, I don't feel 100% sure that I could go into a classroom and teach English, despite the fact that I have been teaching for 28 years and I have a range of experience in, in various courses and subjects. I still, don't, I still don't feel confident that I could do it. So I'm going to be working, hopefully, online for the, for the beginning, uh, building up my experience of, of teaching English and then looking around when I'm in Thailand uh, for a job. And maybe that because I'm doing that, I can hand out my CVs uh, and obviously I, I will have on online experience. The only issue is that you need to uh, bear in mind that uh, Ch China and Thailand and other countries they require you to have a degree now again this is um national wink wink and all of that if they really want you then they will l overlook it um, it's not a hundred percent sure uh, if that is actually true I know it is in China you have to have it uh, but what I'm hoping is that my 28 years experience will will supersede that requirement because obviously it's about being able to teach having a degree is is a good start and you and this chappy does have a, a, an engineering degree so he could do the TEFL and maybe go and find a job in thailand teaching english having a look around the average uh, wage in thailand will be between 25 and 45 uh, depending on experience uh, so if you're looking at 25 to 30,000 baht per month, then you'll be teaching for between 20 and 30 hours a week. And trust me, 25 hours a week is a lot of hours to teach uh, because you can practically double that because you have preparation time, marking time, etc., etc. to go on to that um, total. I used to teach... Uh, a lot more than that before my back issues and now I'm teaching between 9 and um, 12 hours per week only so I and I can just about manage that so he is married to a Thai which is pretty good that's a good start now my recommendation for that is the fact is that you get a uh, marriage visa so that'll be the first step and for that you need 400,000 baht in the bank or a part of that plus a wage coming in now, I'm not going to specify here what exactly that is because uh, it changes from day to day week to week so it's best to look up and uh, look up on the Thai visa you know um, website or forum and they, they can tell you exactly what it should be however bearing in mind that if you have a uh, marriage visa you can also then get a work permit and you can work with that Whereas with the retirement visa, you are not allowed to work full stop. The other thing that they want to do is buy a house in Thailand. Now, what I would probably look into if you have some money uh, is either... I mean, there's several options that you could try. One is you could actually rent out your house here and have an income coming in. And then obviously your wife could uh, get the uni job and you could get a teaching job and then you could get probably go to the bank and get a mortgage and buy a house that way because that's possible but it would be in your wife's name obviously because you're as a farang you're not allowed to own property you're not allowed to own land anyway houses depending on where you go you you can get, get a good house for one million two million baht you know if you're not ostentatious if you don't want a large house and a pool etc etc then you can get a really good place so you could do that or the other the other far out option if you're if you're that way inclined is bearing in mind that where you are now is um you're moving to uh, south wales which is a, a cheaper uh, cheaper economy so you could probably sell your house where you are get the money for that buy a smaller house in in south wales working in a new job in a new location so what you could do is keep the money from the sale of the house and your move to South Wales and maybe buy some land which obviously will then increase in value. Um, so when you're ready to move to Thailand 
you know, in a, in a few years' time, then you've got that land that you could build on, and you could pretty much build a house for less than a million baht, and then you'd own your own land and your own house, and you probably have a house that you actually want, you know, because you could design it yourself. So that's another option that you could do, depending on how old you are and whether you want to retire. I hope that I hope that some of this has been helpful for people because it's certainly an option that I'm looking into. All of this stuff is very relevant. Oh, don't forget, if you have a polite comment, then leave it down below. Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And uh, I'll, I'll see you again very soon for another episode. Bye for now.